My name is uh, Tor Blustad and I'm the game director for Hitman Absolution. You can say we we really we we wanted to make this a uh, it Hitman Absolution uh, a personal story for for Agent 47 because he's been yanked around a lot in the old games and we want to say okay this is this his story. He's playing a very big part of the story himself and uh, we wanted to expose his personality more than before but it's been it's actually been much more difficult than we than we anticipated because he is kind of like an, an, an enigmatic character that is very difficult to to kind of draw out so we when we did the script we've redone it I think a hundred times at this stage where his dialogue usually just got smaller and smaller and the, the ways that he could interact with other people got more and more into the, the kind of the classical way that you know him as from the old games because he is he, we cannot really change him and his personality from before. But we, we can kind of change the world around him to expose certain fragments within him that, that will kind of give him something. But I don't think people will be... Uh, I think people will be happy with the story and with the way that the character is presented. <laughs> <laughs> we started uh, showing off uh, of Absolution last year at E3 and it was very deliberate that what we showed and that we had like a precious 15 minutes and we really focused on just bringing back 1847 and focusing on, on the very basic mechanics of the stealth, of the, of the disguises and a little bit of action in there. There will be, uh, at later stages, more shown off that, that shows off uh, bigger parts of the game uh, where um, we will see probably uh, what you referred to more, uh, civilian locations with more, yeah, kind of uh, a civilian setting that you can kind of blend into and, yeah. and be a part of. So it's all coming in due time. We don't script sequences as, as a linear game we do. So yeah. the only way we can do is it set up the situations in a way so it appears to be directed towards the player, but uh, if he interacts with it in, in ways that we cannot imagine, then we have to cater for that as well. So it's, uh, it is a very difficult process. The way that we designed the game this time, it's a little bit different from, from the previous games, as uh, in, for instance, Hitman Blood Money, the, the levels were pretty much the same size, they were paced in the same way, it was very predictable how you would come from one level to the next yeah. and there was not really, there was no pacing in it you can say because it was just kind of compiled and put together. Yeah. This time we think much more about if you play this through as one big experience there will be a certain pacing within the game and there will be more diversity in the levels themselves. It's, it's very dangerous for us we feel to, to kind of say there is only two ways of doing like the action and stealth, right? So we don't really talk about that. We say more it's about the more professional approach, which we showed first was like the stealthy way. And then you have the more kind of free approach where you use anything that comes at hand and use that uh, against your enemies. It's, it's very important for us to give feedback to the player as to how they're playing. And uh, since we haven't shown a complete level yet, uh, like uh, publicly, we haven't been able to show these end screens and how how we kind of compile all the information about how you made, how you fared throughout the level. And that's, you can say it's still, in some, in those ways, uh, it's still a kind of an old school game is that we do say that there is a level and uh, you can replay that as if you, if you weren't satisfied with, you, with your ranks and your, your ratings, then you can go back and replay that again and, and try once more. Or you can continue to the, to the story. The instinct mode that we have, it actually was yeah, it was looking at the map that we had in the old games, which was basically like a god mode where you could sit and look at the entire game playing out in front of you and you making your move based on, yeah. on your knowledge. Instinct is more saying that, okay, we have this highly professional uh, assassin. He must be able to you know, sense more about the world than, than we can as normal people. So let's give the player the tool to kind of see what's happening around him and, and predict whatever's going to be happening next because the AI is far more complex in Absolution than it's the way that you interact with them is uh, you need to get more information than you had before yeah. so instinct is, is making us do uh, making the player able to to see more uh, what's going to happen next but essentially he's getting less information than he got from the maps of the old game so you can say if you talk about like a pure experience actually the maps if you use the map in the old game then you were kind of cheating right yeah. <laughs> if you were trying to be a professional <laughs> area insecure no sign of perpetrator Everything clear.